Okay, so here we are now. We've uh, got all of our images uh, selected. We've just straightened them out. We put uh, the move tool on and we have straightened them out horizontally and vertically. We've got everything stacked up one right after the other in one long continuous kind of video timeline kind of thing here. And let me show you what this looks like on the right hand side here in our layers. We've got this video group. I can close that up and there's a video group and I can also deselect or whatever to get all these guys together. But here's our first video and if I uh, hit the play button now at this point what I would see is one after the other they would dissolve but I'm not happy about that just being this kind of simple um, you know one after the other you know very statically changing. So what I want to do is have some kind of movement and some kind of dissolving things happening. So the first image that I've got is this one particular image of this drawing. And I know that it's the first one. There it is right there. It shows up there as the first one on the left. And on the other side over here where my layers are, it's going to be the one on the bottom. And the whole sequence of this thing will go from the bottom to the top on this side and from left to right over here. What I'd like to do is to try and have some transitions here. So here's the best way to do some transitions. Down the bottom in our little timeline we've got this guy right here which is a transition and in here we've got the ability to have this thing move on its own so let's see what these things look like uh, if you can't see the whole stretch out here of the way these things should look you know you can maybe stretch them out a little bit more so we can see what's what's going on there grab the little slider down the bottom, bottom there and just drag that to the right there we go so now we can see that we've got each image, one followed by the next, and we've got this little uh, right arrow here so we can see we can change some motion for each image, etc. Kind of cool. And we can come back over to this one and click on this and say, what do we want to do between frames, like this one frame to the other, which we have them do. We can have them fade, cross fade, etc. All kinds of fun stuff to do with each image. All right, well, the first thing I see is I've got my um, my original setup here where I had selected everything and then tried to straighten it out. And I still see those marching ants moving, so I don't want those. So what I need to do is to deselect. I need to stop those marching ants from moving. To deselect, you can go up to the word select and choose deselect. Or if you get to know and love these bad Larrys here, we want that one. Command D. That stops the marching ants from working. Not just quickly, I noticed that, you know, I don't think that's the right sequence there. I've got the drawing and then I've got the final thing, but that's not what I wanted. I think I want this guy here to be in front of this one. Can I just click here and hold it and drag it over? I sure can. And now they're in the right sequence. You can do it there or you can do it over on the right hand side in the layers you can click and hold and drag the layers around very cool very flexible easy way to kind of arrange things okay so here's our first slide and if i click on the space bar that's the same thing as if i'm clicking on play so let's hit the space bar and i see it start to move and again, I noticed that there's not really a whole bunch of fun happening here. I just got this one thing dissolved into the next. Oh, and what's this? Hold on a second. Let me stop right there. I'll hit the space bar to stop. What is all of this good stuff right here? This is the checkerboard again, so it's transparent. I'm going to probably want to fill this with black, and we'll get to that in just a second. But you don't want to have all of that stuff happening. Let's zoom ahead so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at that. I got all this negative space happening here, all this empty space. I'm going to try and fill that with something so I don't see just this checkerboard or eventually it would be white if I just left it that way. So I'll get a chance to change that in a second. So what I've got is I got all of my different frames and what I'd like to try and do is to have them dissolve one into the other and to move a little bit. Let's try it. In the bottom, I've got this little guy here. That's our little transition. I'm going to click on the crossfade, click to hold the mouse down, and drag this thing right there. Look at that. Now it lights up. Let me just move it a little bit. I'm not letting go of the mouse just for a second. There it is. And I'm going to let go. And ah, now it puts this little thing in here that says 
this is a transition. In fact, you can even click on that and change the length of that if you wanted to have it more or less. I'm not going to do that just now, but we could do that later. And then I might even want each one of these guys to move a little bit. So how do you do that? All you have to do is click on the little right-facing arrow, and from the motion setup, choose pan and zoom, pan, zoom, whatever, whatever you want to do. Let's do pan and zoom, okay? That's the first frame. Here's the second one. And again, I'm going to choose from no motion. I'll choose just pan. That sounds good. And let's go to the third one here, and we're going to choose zoom and then it gives you the option what do you want to zoom it from do you want to zoom it from the left or the right or a top corner do you want to resize etc let's say we're going to go from the top left and I want to zoom out alright so let's see what those three transitions look like so we have our very first one there I'm just going to click off of this to say okay let's hit that space bar and here we go now look at that first one's moving how cool is that and now watch, it's going to dissolve into the next one. Ready? Oh, man, that's pretty cool. And here we go. We've got this um, studio shot that she shot to, and then to mix with the other image. And together they make... Uh, that was a little bit of a jump there at the end. Why was that a jump? Well, I didn't do a transition. I just did my pan and zoom. And you can always hold the play head there and move it back and forth. Yeah, that's too much of a jump. So let's stop there. I'm going to go back to my crossfade, hold that, and I like that crossfade. Crossfade works pretty well most, almost all the time. So I'll say that looks pretty good. Now let's try it. Ready? I'm going to click on the playhead and just move it, and let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, that works great, right? So we've got the very first one. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm just going to drag it. There's the drawing that the girl did. And then there's the original photograph, and together they dissolve to become that. That is pretty cool. Now, if I were teaching this to my students, uh, I would say, here's what we've done. We've made some photographs. We've combined a couple things. We've worked in Photoshop. Show me the original, then show me the edited version, and let's see what happens. And so what they would do is inside Bridge, they would put all the pieces together in the sequence they wanted, and they would create this little slideshow. Pretty cool.